Hey guys, welcome to Cool Bits, where we point out our favorite small moments from popular and maybe not so popular games. These cool bits might be a secret, an easter egg, or just a small detail that really resonated with us. This time we'll be taking a look at something that's missing in Rare's Nintendo 64 game Banjo-Tooie, which has since been re-released on Xbox Live Arcade as seen here. But before we show you what we mean, we first have to revisit the game's predecessor, Banjo-Kazooie. As you might remember, Gruntilda, the ugly witch, kidnapped Banjo's sister, Tootie, in an effort to steal her beauty and use it for herself. To be fair, what else are you gonna do when Botox won't quite cut it? Of course, they set the events of the entire game into motion with Banjo working his way through the witch's lair all in an effort to rescue his beloved sister. Which he eventually does, by the way. Spoilers! In the case it still isn't clear just how much Tootie means to Banjo, he even has a picture of her hanging in his house. Yep, they're a very close family. Which is why it's weird that she doesn't appear, nor is referenced by any of the characters at all, in the sequel, Banjo-Tooie. In fact, the only real hint of her comes in the form of that same portrait from Banjo-Kazooie, though it's a little worse for the wear given that Banjo's home has since been destroyed. So, what happened to 2D? It's not like there's a ton of places for her to go in Spiral Mountain. How does such a major character completely disappear without a trace? Of course, the simple explanation is that 2D, at her core, was simply a MacGuffin. She existed only so that Banjo-Kazooie had something to work for. She was basically just a kidnapped princess in the castle. So when it came time for the sequel with a new story, there was simply no need for her to exist anymore. But is that really the case? For that, we need to head to the level Cloud Cuckoo Land. Once there, use the split-up pad so that you're playing as only Kazooie. Now fly toward the giant garbage can in the sky and step on the Kazooie switch to gain access. Inside, you'll find a discarded carton of milk. But let's take a look at what's written on one of its sides. Huh, so it seems the game's developers have a sense of humor about the whole thing after all. So when we said we were going to take a look at something that's missing, we actually meant it. And that wraps up our cool bit for Banjo-Tooie. Now let us know if you have any cool bits of your own by posting in the comments, and we may feature it in a future episode. Thanks for watching, and make sure to stay tuned to GameExplained.com for more cool bits and everything gaming.